Welcome back to my videos. Uh, today we're going to do a 4x5 photo shoot uh, film, large format, of a building in NTU, which is Nanyang Technological University. It's a student, kind of a student space, and we are here shooting this interior, which is basically a central courtyard, skylit, around a series of 12 towers. And each tower, well, mini towers are actually uh, comprising seminar rooms stacked one above the, above the other. The whole building is about six to seven stories, but funnily, because of the topography levels of NTU, the topmost floor is called the third story. And right in the middle, which matches with another part of the school, is the first floor. And so this building technically goes down to basement five, but basement five actually is on ground. So you go figure. Uh, we'll maybe try to put a section in and then we can have <laughs> better clarity on that. So we're now on the basement one floor, obviously not underground. Uh, and we're trying to be we're more or less in the center of the entire building. And we're going to try to shoot the entire interior courtyard, uh, central atrium. It's about five in the evening. So the light's rather soft. In fact, maybe a little bit too soft. I've got not much light on top and it's trickling down to the bottom. So I might have to put a, a sun, a kind of a graduated filter on the top, kind of cut out the light a bit so that I can get a bit brighter or more light to hit the bottom floors. We're gonna to try to do that and I'm gonna talk you through it as we go along. So I've got my camera a bit high up because I've straddled the leg across uh, this little cavern and as I always say you should level your camera top or rather your tripod first so we're going to level that hot top and I've got a panoramic head panoramic head or plate and the camera goes onto that so what I've got is a level platform to start with. I'm shooting with a 75 today, which should give me a pretty good view across. And you know, guys, I'm getting old, so ha ha ha. Glasses got to come off before I can focus. see whether well the light coming in is pretty even now because what I'm looking at are lights coming out from the seminar rooms and although I've got light coming in from the top uh, there are actually slits and openings between seminar rooms that have daylight coming in and that's giving me 
quite an even light through because they're all looking out to the external. So I think that's going to be pretty good. Um, you know what? I'm just going to go straight for it. I'm going to put in um, Why don't we go straight for it and try to shoot that? I'm gonna just put on the okay. So photographers need to be a bit of a contortionist sometimes just to get what they need. So I've got my cable release there. I'm just gonna a loop and this is a 10 time loop which I use just to get that focus bang on it's, it's easy to the 10 times loop is really nice that should be it now the tricky part is metering so I'm shooting Kodak T-Max 100 um, so I've got 100 set the whole thing is about where do you meter right because it's a very contrasty scene I've got The rooms are giving me F22 at 15 seconds. Got the floor. So where the light is coming in and hitting the floor, I'm getting about uh, a stop and a half more. The rooms are about one stop less. And then in the shadows, I've got maybe three or four stops, so I think it's all right. I can probably um, expose for the rooms, which is maybe up up a stop. Uh, so I'm going with 15 seconds at f16. Maybe plus one more stop because I'm using super expired film. Um, but it's black and white, and I specifically chose to shoot this scene in film because. because it's got better latitude, right? Uh, and if I had shot this with slight film, that would be it. I would never have been able to get the whole contrast in. Right. So I always recommend to do a test shot just to make sure that your shutter is closed and the film holder goes in. And you've already taken your test shot, so you know that the shutter is closed. Dark slide out. Tap. And now we've got to count the 15 seconds. So it's 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, 7,000, 8,000, 9,000, 10,000, 11,000, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And so I gave it maybe in about um, just a few more seconds for some reciprocity failure. Uh, you know, a lot of times I shoot photographs, I go by feel. Uh, I, I know metering is uh, supposed to be accurate, but dealing with film and dealing with old film and dealing with such a contrasty uh, image, I, I usually go by feel and my tendency as a photographer is to go over and then even if you do print wet prints, you can dodge and burn it, your shadows if you need to. Uh, and if you do scan, I like to have a little bit of a, uh, a thinner or a denser kind of a negative and then work with it to get some of the shadows in. It's a lot easier to build shadow into an image than to pull details from the highlights.
all right? It's easier to put shadow back than to pull details from the highlights. So I usually give it a little bit more uh, exposure. So that's one shot in. I'm just going to repeat that with a, another exposure just to be sure. Let's do a test shot. Yep, just to make sure the shadow is close. And let's do that again. One, two. Four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, and that's a whole stop more. Okay, uh, I'm going to take a chance and say that that's going to be even better than the first one. So that's two shots down, and you know, some of you may know, it is quite pricey to shoot large format. That's about maybe five to six dollars a sheet nowadays. A bit more but uh, these are all stocks which I bought and <laughs> this film has expired past 10 years but it's still good so uh, that's film photography for you especially if you're shooting large format okay I just moved across from there to this side just to get a clearer view um, I'm going to try to get a bit of the classrooms on the right and then put the center or rather the main height of the courtyard on the side of the image. I'm going to try an asymmetrical view and see whether that works better. I'm going to shoot two more sheets of film uh, and we'll see how that works out. So I've got my camera kind of leveled. I think height wise, I think I'm good. Again, uh, it's very dim inside. So, and you know with large format cameras, uh, you're actually, I mean, the, the ground glass is always very dim. So it's quite hard to actually see what you're doing. So you kind of have to kind of guess roughly where you are. Um, but with the main highlights of the, of the image, I more or less can tell what I'm looking at and how I'm framing my shot. I'm quite happy with what I have. Uh, I'm just going to focus the image. Again, with uh, a 10 time, 10 times loop. Focus is pretty much the same. I haven't moved it much from just now. Uh, and interestingly, I don't have much need for a rise or fall. Um, actually, having said that, I might want to just give this a little bit of back rise, just to get Maybe a bit of the atrium floor in that image. And that's a good thing about having back bellows because it really allows you to keep that movement or to achieve the movements that your lens is giving you. Let's just take another meter reading. I'm getting an F16 at 15 seconds, not, not far from what we, have, what we had just now, but the light's fading quite quickly, so uh, it might actually be better because as the light fades, the intensity of the light at the top is reducing. The contrast between the floor and the top is actually closing in, right? So as the light actually fades, I'm actually getting less contrast, and less contrast could actually be good because I'm actually um, exposing for the shadows, exposing for the darker parts, and that would be able to help have the rest of the building kind of just brighten up and glow up. Uh, so I, I won't talk so much. I better get that, <laughs> better get those exposures out before I miss the, before I miss the light. So uh, as you know, um, film holders come with dark slides that have both a black side and a white side. So when you finish a shot and you've exposed it, you should be showing the black. Well, at least I do. I show the black. So I know these are exposed. 
and these are yet to be exposed so of course I'm going to use it, the fresh ones. Actually before I put that in just to show everyone, um, I'm not sure if you can barely make out the image here, I'm going to put this aside. So, slot in the film, right? What I then do is to set the aperture. So that's at f16. I'm not using a lot of uh, movement, so I don't really have to go f22. I close the shutter, and what do I always say? Do a test shot. Very good. So, dark slide comes off. Tap, and then expose. That's twenty, twenty one thousand, twenty two, twenty three. 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. I think 30 is good. Dark slide back up, back in. And so fresh, white, exposed, black. And that's your shot. I'm gonna just try one in the landscape format and see how that one works out. So for the Chamonix, all you need to do is pick these two locks, pull it out, and convert that into a landscape image. Just gonna You notice today I haven't used my uh dark cloth. Well, it's relatively dim in here so actually it kind of works with just this shade. Yeah it works. All right I'll just put my back level again. I'm just going to do another shot now with a kind of landscape just to get that breath of the building just to give a sense of the space in here I only brought four sheets today so I've got one more sheet and then I'm done so let's try this one out uh, always I always pull these back instinctively as a habit because the last thing I want is for the back bellows to be covering the lens so set the aperture again at f16 close the shutter cock it Test shot, cock it again, gonna expose the film, let it settle, 1,000, 2,000. Twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, maybe thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four. What the hell? Thirty-five. All right, let's go. And that's it. Thank you for joining me for this video. I hope you like. Um, or found this video informative as I show you and go through the steps of how I shoot architecture here in Singapore. Sometimes uh, buildings that I've designed or my firm has undertaken and sometimes for example today where we're shooting Heatherwick's uh, building here at NTU. So do hit the like button, uh, it means a lot to me. Do put in your comments, share your thoughts. Happy to hear your comments, you know. I, I do make it a point to reply so do feel free to comment. And do feel free to subscribe so that I can 
just know that there are people actually interested to watch this video. So uh, wishing you all the best. Hope you like the video and catch up with you in the next one. Thank you.